He's now made eight in a row. So that's the final play of the first half. Knowles rallying from 10 down. A pair of field goals, and Bobby Bowden is with Aaron. Well, Bobby Bowden's having some words right now for the officials. Coach, what is your message to these guys over here? How about five holding penalties in there? I understand, Coach. Do they ever do it just us? I'm, I'm the ones I've seen are your players, Coach. Oh, uh, never had that many. You mentioned the penalties right there on your offensive line. What do you? What's your message to those young guys in there? So you got a bunch of young guys. We've got five dead gum holding penalties. It's the same thing that beat us against Wake Forest. You know what? It'll beat us tonight if we don't stop it. How do you stop it? How do you stop it? What are you going to tell them? You go in and start praying. You know what? Pray that they'll quit holding. Thanks, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of doing it. Appeal to a higher power. 74-yard drive produces the field goal. 10-6 at halftime. Let's go to Reese Lewin, Pontiac Performance Halftime Report. Reese? <laughs> <laughs> did, did you get the impression that while uh, Coach Bowden is going to tell his offensive line to stop holding that maybe, just maybe, he wasn't totally convinced they were holding every time that the flag came out of the official's pocket? <laughs> Dad, gum five holding. Are you kidding me? Hey, I, I, but I know exactly how he feels, and I'm with you, Bobby. Go sick him. Bottom line, you've got to love the fire of Bobby Bowden. Everybody says, oh, he's too old for the game. Baloney. You saw the fire going after the official going into halftime. He was in this game, and he's going to definitely let his line know at halftime they've got to correct these penalties because right now they're just down four points on the road. They're not playing up to their expectations, but the bottom line, I guarantee they will be fired up coming out for the third. Boy, that offensive line can ruin a football team with their whole don't they, may day. But I tell you what, I'm impressed with NC State. They're a completely different team when Wilson's their quarterback, but I also am impressed with how physical Florida State plays now. They never used to play that way. Uh, Florida State, North Carolina State, four-point game at the half.